crudacious period, the awkward adolescence of the world's history. Down fans, LBT75 here, and I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving, and we're finally here in the first of December of 2020, and things are gonna get a lot interesting as the Christmas is about to pop out as soon as possible. So yeah, before we before we start this review, I do not have that much time to uh, do this Thanksgiving stuff. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get into the review of. Crudes 2, A New Age. So yeah, so before this video begins, I just want to give a big welcome to Inside Out Fan 2001. I highly recommend you guys go check out his channel, as well as Harry Thomas Pictures. I mean, these guys are good at reviewing movies. And I also want to give a thank you to Justin. Go check out his channel if you haven't noticed. But uh, whatever you do, do not spam hate comments in front of their channels. That's all I wanted to say. So... Yeah, back to the review of Crudes 2. So Crudes 2, The New Age, yeah, it tells a story about uh, where they left off in the first Crudes movie with the family of cavemen, including Eve, Guy, uh, the family, etc. I don't know what their names are, but uh, yeah, they find this new link of family, which includes a new age of human beings. The Crudes family has never seen the humans like this before. Which seems pretty odd and uh, quite interesting. But it stands out really well. And uh, yeah, along the way they encounter some animals. And that's just about it in this movie. So what do I think of Crudes 2? Well, it looks freaking amazing. I have to be honest that I love this movie. I absolutely enjoy this movie. Hell, I even love it more than the first movie, in my opinion. Well, is it as good as How to Train Your Dragon 3 The Hidden World that came out last year? Eh, not quite, but only in the step below. But, hey, yeah, I know I love this movie so much, and, I can, and I'm going to tell you why. First, the movie's writing is incredible. The writing in this movie is excellent. I mean, these writers did a good job with the movie, along with the writing and all that type of stuff. Yeah. And the pacing is incredible. Yeah, the same way that I saw the pacing for How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World. The pacing in that movie looks really decent, I guess. But this pacing does keep up the pace. Well done. I mean, and another thing I liked about this movie is the animation and the CGI. Especially the animation, which did a lot better ever since the first movie. Especially the characters, the new look of the animals, and wow. Oh, and speaking of the animals, they look freaking amazing. One of my favorite animals in this movie has to, has got to be the land shark and that uh, colorful killer cat. One of the largest of the saber tooths. Gee, he looks amazing. And one of my favorite animal characters that looks identified. It looks like a dinosaur and it jumps like a kangaroo. And it's no other than the Kangadillo. Wow. It's like the Guanlons that, that came right out from Ice Age 3 and into a DreamWorks movie. I have to say is that they look terrifying. They look amazing. They look badass. Wow, just look at him. Look at him. I am not joking. I just love these things. Oh yeah, and aside from that, let's get into the character development between Eve and Guy. Yeah. Ever since the first Crudes movie, where Eve meets Guy, yeah. Yeah, and in this movie, we see Guy and Eve. I like how they try to kiss, but they end up failing. But in the end, they learn to do so, and uh, they don't know what a kiss is. 
until they discovered it and throughout the movie. I really like the relationship between Eve and Guy. They they look amazing. And also, I like the origin story of Guy of how is he of how is he the loner and uh, he finds a sloth friend and then they team up. Oh, sorry if I have to spoil the movie, but who knows? Yeah, but uh, admittedly, that origin story looks pretty sad for the most part. Yeah, as for Crudes too, yeah, all I have to say is that it looks really amazing. If you haven't seen Crudes too, I highly recommend this movie for those who are fans of the first movie. And yeah, who knows? But uh, um, anyways. I really had a good time with this movie. Hell, it's even tied to tie with Dino Dana in Dino Dana movie as my number one favorite movie of 2020. Yeah. So, so overall, I'm gonna give Crudes 2 a pretty solid 10 out of 10 and an A plus, and without a doubt, it gets the OBT seal of approval. Yeah. So if you're a fan of the Crudes movies and other DreamWorks animated films. This movie works for you as much as possible. I mean, this movie is really, really incredible. A fun, adventure-looking movie. So, I highly recommend it. So, that's my review of Crudes 2. And, uh, sorry if I have to spoil some parts of the movie if you haven't noticed. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review in Crudes 2. And, please sure to subscribe and all that stuff. And... Sorry for not being in my channel that long because of workouts and all that stuff, but who knows. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and uh, please sure to stay safe as much as possible. LBT75 here. See you guys next time.